Okay, today I was summoned to Social Veterinary Hospital. It is Tuesday, um, probably about 2 o'clock now, um, to do a surgery on this guy here. Uh, we obviously have a periorbital abscess, which the crown of it is about right there. Anyway, so we're going to do um, probably a local block. This guy's a little bit on the cold side, so instead of having to put him through too much of a heat change, we're going to start warming him up while we're giving him his local, and then from there start to pull that out. Um, okay, so that's what it looks like for now. And uh, if they will, if they can afford it, we'll do a culture as well, and we'll see where this case takes us. Okay, probably going to be a pus can. Woohoo! Love the pus can. Do it! I can't. Yes, you can. I can't. You can. And you cross your eyes off him. That's funny. Okay, go ahead. Do the hair thing. Is it this? doing right now this, this uh, superior orbital ab abscess if you'll notice here there's that white part over the top that's probably gonna lance it but I want to make sure that this is clean first actually we may need a culture swab go find us a culture swab Splenda. It is. Is it Splenda? It's tasty. I'm gonna need you to stop. <laughs> Quick, let me talk a bunch of crap. <laughs> Lighting would be really useful. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Don't grab me another one. I don't want whatever this is on the other hand. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, no. oh gosh, I'm right in there. You want to Give it to Hold my drink. Don't let it go in there. Hurry. Oh, okay. we're right in the fire line, just so you know. Not touching no, no. anything. Yes, ma'am. buddy. It's all right. Ooh. Ooh. So what does the culture swab do? It'll, it'll, it puts bacteria in that medium. Then when mm. they get, it, if that preserves it, when they get to the lab, they roll it out on a petri dish and grow it. And she make it to what your organism is and what it's sensitive to. It's me. Ooh. Ooh. There's so much in there. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's alive. There's more. The side's gonna look sunken when we're done. Oh yeah. And now it's getting bloody. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I can't believe how much is in there. I can't. I can't. Bernie took it out the size of the swollenness. Thank oh. you. That's <laughs> my little happy to take home for my crackers. <laughs> Mm. Looks like caviar. <laughs> ricotta cheese. Well, that's exactly what we got in this one. Oh, he says it hurts. My eyeball's twice as big as it should be. All right, buddy. I'm sorry. It's okay. You're almost Aw, oh, that's nice. You're just stabbing him in the eye with your finger. <laughs> in the good eye. In the good eye. He's going to need to keep that. <clears throat> yeah, he, was, he had it wide open, and then you put your finger on it, and he's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> See, things go up, man. I don't 
I don't know if I can close this one up. Oh, so tired. So tired. Is he opening? Trying to bite? No. <laughs> Does it feel like his beard's puffed out? Mm. It's okay, Dad. It's all right, buddy. <laughs> so normally, when you see something like this, it's um, what, what? What is it? An abscess because it was an injury, or um, that is hard to say they uh, they have similar you know eustachian tubes and things that uh they can harbor infections as to why it's on one side or the other i would say probably because there was some trauma here mm -hmm. another lizard could have been crawling over him and stuck a nail through that area mm -hmm. well we're nearly i'd say let's close this up but this going to have to shrink a lot. Alright, they don't make drains for animals this size, so sometimes you really have to make your own drain. And that's what we're doing right now. And this is where the, it's anchored, so we know that it won't go anywhere. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> I'm gonna do that all over again. Oh man! <laughs> chance to fix it. <laughs> Someone stepping on my feet. <laughs> you ran away with my suture. Sorry.
Hold on, little buddy. Did you just connect the other end of the drain or no? No. Okay, I was just wondering. Do you leave it out just like that, just to help leave the hole in the skin? I may anchor it, but these guys, since it would probably cause more harm to put it in the scale somewhere else than it would be just leave it hanging out where it's at. Okay. There we go. You wearing your glasses? It's these needle holders. <laughs> Not my fault. <laughs> um, you done? Okay, so we did buzz. This is a large swelling here. We actually put a local block in two spots there along that line. Um, to keep him from feeling it. Uh, he actually felt very little compared to what, you know, could have been. Um, so we've done well for this guy. Uh, as you can see, his eye is much smaller than it was, and it's actually got uh, some creases in it. We flushed it several times with some chlorhexidine. Uh, got a culture swab. We'll send it off as well. That little blue thing you see sticking out of there is basically our homemade drain, where it is anchored over here outside the eye, comes through the incision, and then we actually close some of the incision right there to just uh, speed up healing a little bit more. Um, we'll start this guy on antibiotics. Uh, and then from there, we will uh, take the next step as soon as the culture comes back. If we're on the wrong antibiotics, then of course we can change that and fix it. Um, but uh, this was a pus cam. I always love trying to save something that's got a major infection in it. And, and of course, there are people who just <laughs> love to watch pus on film. So, hey, everybody's happy. Awesome.